Yeah, we're on. Are we? Yeah, we're on. You didn't say we were on ever. I did, actually. Hey, everyone. How's it going? Now I gotta try to get this thing on because it doesn't like it. Died on me a minute ago. How am I gonna follow this chat if it won't talk to me? Supposedly, I don't know if anybody's doing it right now. Well, supposedly it's open. All right, so we should have meet. Oh, let's turn this thing again. Stop it! Hey, Brainwise, thank you for following. Yay, Brainwise! See, somebody's here. You don't know things. I don't know things. Nah. I can barely see things. How old? I know. I really like. Look how tiny that font is. Little thin, skinny, dark letters on a white background. Can't see it. Oh. All right. Hope everybody had a nice break. We got food, which was great. Food is nice. Yay, burritos. I like food. Um. Yeah. Do we want music? What do we want? Nice. Um. Do you want me to play some of that stuff you normally play? Sure. Like, do you go through Spotify? Like. Generally. Okay. What do you? I usually find video game soundtracks. Okay. Sure, let's do that. You made a fake steak burrito. I had a burrito that was full of steak and fajita veggies and rice and beans. It was delicious. And nachos? And veggie nachos. She had veggie nachos. Super good. Bruce! What? Brucey, Brusek. <laughs> Thank you for following me. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> I was like, what's happening? I was reading this so, thing. I can't read that. No, I was reading I can, oh, okay. I was like, yeah, so what's funny is it feels like this one updates. Like, I see something pop up and move. I can't read it at all. My eyes are just not that good. And it's then true. I see yours. Like, something just did it again. And the mind takes, Ooh. like, that's expensive. Guys, he lost that on an airplane one time. Like, he just bought it, too. And we were right at that, like, you get weird tight things even, like, we're on our way to a show, but we haven't made any money yet. And something's like, oh, I lost my pen. And I was like, you mean the really stupidly expensive one? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, what? And I think the lady behind us heard me, like, low-key, like, telling him he was never eating again. Because, like, she asked the people behind her because it rolled down, like, multiple aisles. People, people, like, Southwest people, for the most part, are pretty cool. It's true. They, they helped us out. Like, they found it for him. But, yeah. I think she sent her little kid to, like, scuttle under people's chairs or something. She was nice. She was super nice. I thought I'd lost it when we first moved here, too. Um, could not find it. Couldn't find it anywhere. I was almost ready to go to the Best Buy and buy a new one. You can put a chain on and it. And I found it in my backpack. Lock it to your wrist. Like just as I was getting ready to leave, I checked my backpack for my wallet, and boom, there was my pen. Magic. <laughs> I'm like, why didn't you check things? Like I did. And I was like, oh, it's one of those. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I guess I could just wait till this is that lower on power for a bit. You can do anything you want to. It's on the Zombo column? Zombo column. What? I don't know what's happening. I have no idea what that is, by the way. Zombo column? <laughs> I could totally get one of those zippy things jugged up to your belt. Just for this thing. Mm hmm. Yep, yep. So I hope we all enjoy our break. If you didn't take a break and you stayed on with Becky, welcome back. Caught some of Becky's stream, that was fun. What's happening? 
I'm just hoping it would. It's very not that. It's very not that, yes. <laughs> it's not about that. You're taking life. Like, I'm going to be able to, like, put the, or turn it upside down so I can put the sound out, you know, not right on me and it's still ringing. Yeah. No. Not at all. I mean, I could try it sound really good. I feel like not when we're also fighting the AC. Fair. And we're this far away. See, we're very far away. <laughs> Normally, we'd be able to touch the computer if we did that. Yeah, you'd yell at me because I did it. <laughs> Yay, she plugged this. Woo! Oh, that's so sweet. This I feel that level of gushing about a lot of people, especially a lot of people I would see in San Diego usually this weekend. Yeah. I feel that level of gushing about them. So, yay. <sighs> okay. What should Dean be drawing? What should I draw? Let's put Dean to work before we continue gushing about people at San Diego. Because <laughs> Dean can work and gush at the same time. <laughs> the immortal chicken. What? Streamlabs wants you to take advantage of this extension? I mean, fair. I get that a lot. Like, it gives random buttons, and half the time, the stupid oh, yeah. buttons get in the way of other things. I did not see your story about the chicken. Um, I saw a picture of a chicken. What's happening? Chicken? Chickens. The mortal chickens. I'm drawing a mortal chicken. You're drawing a mortal chicken. Okay. Enjoy wow. that. Wow. That's an old bird. The, oh, the 11 year old chicken that laid a new egg? I did not see that. I saw it on Facebook. Like earlier, I think. I think Dane's worried that I'd be a bad chicken mom. I'm not worried about that. Because I'd be a bad chicken mom, so I'd be like, that bird's old, eat it. I'm actually not worried about that at all. You're not worried about that? No. Really? I mean, I probably wouldn't want you to eat the old ones, so. Right. But you're okay with it. That's why you eat chickens. Close your ears, I can tell you if that's going to bother you. <laughs> I'm very much okay with my meat eating ways. Let's see. In our break, we found, a, we found a new spider. We did. But the spider's way up there, so I think we're going to let it stay. He's over there. Yeah. I think he's fine. He's like, what is that, about 12 feet in here? Something like that. Okay. He wasn't being a spider in our location, so I think it's fine. Yeah. Are you giving said chicken a sword? It's an immortal. What does that mean? What? There can be only one. Immortal chicken. He's a Highlander chicken. And she is. I'm not judging you for feeding the chicken and keeping it around. Nope. I think that's cool. No judgment here. Do the thing, win the points. Sports ball. Oh my gosh. Oh, so that call I took. Um, when I had to run out, that was because I recognized the number and I've been playing phone tag with this nice lady. Um, I'm through the first hurdle of participating in a vaccine trial for the COVID. So yay, we'll see how that goes. I'm kind of interested. I've never done anything like that before. So they're going to send me a thing I have to read and sign. So that's exciting. Um, yeah. Yay, science. Yay, science. I'm super excited. Science. You know what would be cool? What would be cool? Like, there, it's a blind study or double blind, I don't know, one of those. Um, so I won't know if I actually get the vaccine or not. I don't know. Like, I assume I won't know. So question, though. Like, I don't know when they would tell me. Probably not for quite a while, right? 
So. Generally, I'm told the study is over. It's a two year long long study. That's what she said. So, ooh, that's a question I'm going to need to ask. Because then, like, if the vaccine comes out. Do I then not get the vaccine? (laughs) That's a thing I need to check on. Yeah. All right. Noted. Um, But anyway, I'm excited because I want to help science uh, and I want to help get that stuff out as soon as possible. Yes. Yeah, that thing. That. Um, I don't, like, no worries. I mean, I just, I don't feel like it's that much to ask. They, like, pay a little bit for your gas and time. Um, so I'm literally not doing anything except, like, getting stabbed a couple of times. <laughs> I assume they're going to take blood several times or something. I don't know. And I may not even get that. Like, they might not decide I'm not part of, like, I'm not somebody they're looking for in the study at some point. Um, but, yeah. Um, but at this point, yeah, I, I wouldn't even be paying for gas, so... That seems like little enough to do, um, but we need to, so, because, you know, we, we, we need that vaccine sooner rather than later, like, as soon as scientifically, safely possible, so, yeah. So what's everybody else up to tonight, like? It feels like Friday night now, just because like we've been talking about the beginning of the show and whatever. That's oh, always the trick with San Diego Comic Con. Wednesday always That's feels true. like Friday. Oh my god! Yeah, it always feels like it happened. Like San Diego is this really, really magical unicorn. Um, it feels like it happens right away, and then <laughs> and it takes forever, but also just happens like that. So. I mean, if you've got, if, if you're going to watch something, a digital chicken is not the worst thing. It's true. I love that this chicken looks like it's lived some years. It is a moment. It's seen some things. And it is done messing with you. It will stab you, stop your shit. <laughs> Really, really excited. We watched a, while we were eating, we watched a, a little, like it wasn't even an hour long video from, by the way, let us know if, the, if we need to yell louder, if the noise is weird, or if this thing gets too loud, um, or any of that, because we're less used to it than normal. Um, but we watched one of our favorite Let's Play YouTubers do a thing. They had some... What's it called? Uh, exclusive reveal. Right. An exclusive reveal footage from Total War. Um, you know that game Rome Total War? He loves that game. I'm not surprised they, they gave it to him. Um, he's got, we've watched many, many, many hours of it um, with him playing. But uh, they're doing a Bronze Age. You're doing a Trojan War. Right. Um, thing. And what I really enjoyed was that he spent like, Maybe half of the video arguing about what they had to say about Aeneas. Um, or as he said, <laughs> assassinating the character of Aeneas. Um, and he used textual evidence. Like, he had lots of feelings. He's, by the way, English. And he studied the classics in university. Uh, but he actually went back to the text, various texts, to find things to back up his feelings and his very strong feelings (laughs) about the Aeneas and and the things he was saying. And I was just, um, I I really enjoyed it. It was pretty great. (laughs) So, um, we should probably actually, so that was John at Miniature Nerd. Um, and if you like puns, or the classics, or English accents, um, and video games, like all of those things would be good. Um, I like that he's kind of smart, and but he's not like 
Except when he's talking about the classics, he's not trying to make a big deal about that, if that makes sense. Um, and he's funny and normally having a good time with the videos. Um, and he super loves getting into the weeds and doing the maths in the, in the video games like Rome Total War. So, anywho, um, that one was really fun. Again, I don't, I'm never probably going to play Rome Total War because it looks interesting. Like, I've watched him play a lot of it, but I don't have the... It's an awful lot of spreadsheets for a video game. So many spreadsheets. Um, but watching him yell about how terrible Aeneas was for half an hour was pretty great. That was pretty very great. Like at one point he had already yelled about Aeneas for quite a while and used textual evidence to argue with what they were saying about him. And then he's like, so now I should talk about the game. <laughs> Fun stuff. Anyway, that's what we did for a short little break. The chicken in question, Henry used to sleep on top of the coop, not inside. <laughs> she was the guard chicken. She wouldn't sleep in the coop? Isn't that, like, was she outside, like, where anything, like, a rat or anybody could get to her? Or was she, like, inside the safe area but on top of the coop? I love that she's named after the chicken hawk from Foghorn Lamar. I do, too. Outside, outside. Wow. Hardcore chicken. That's very hardcore. I feel like there's so many things around here that would eat her. Um, like that's the one thing Dana and I have talked about is if we're gonna have a coop, we've got to have something really safe because basically as impervious as we can make it. Because we've got raccoons and possums and dogs, lots of dogs. Um, yeah, cats. Becky! Yeah, hey, we got we got a booth set up, so we have we have our back wall set up. Have a table? Have a table, sort of. I mean I went to a lot of trouble with this thing happening. That's true. And it doesn't even hardly show up. <laughs> Thank you. We think that as we go through the weekend, we're just gonna keep adding stuff and changing stuff just to see if people are paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers for anybody who's like watching. Keep an eye open. Oh, was I not supposed to spoil it? I'll just spoil anything. Apparently. I'll just tell people anything. I don't care. Rosebud was the sled. <laughs> You're taking off your bra and watching the stream? Wish I could take off my bra. Um, later. <laughs> yeah. That's always the like. On stream days when I'm like, okay, it's getting close. I gotta go like put on somewhat reasonable clothing and you know try to try to calm down the hair and put on the good bra or whatever. Yep. It's your after stream stream reward. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. You did a, an extra long stream tonight, didn't you? Like, you don't usually do a two-hour stream, do you? Yeah, we should probably just put spoiler alert and everything. I just sit here and just talk, and then Dane's like, what? Did you just, yep, you said that. Okay. I'm like, haha, -ha, now you have to live up to it. <laughs> Enjoy it. Nox is a jerk. <laughs> I mean, yeah, where I can imagine that Brawl as SCCC would be awesome. Oh my gosh, yes. Except back where y'all, although y'all were a little further down than our old spot, so it wasn't quite as cold for you guys, was it? So I was going to say otherwise, like in our old food spot, I'd keep the bra just for one more layer. <laughs> there are so many memes online right now where people 
cat, like it's basically people trying to do their work. And some of them are like news people or whatever, um, politicians, just so many people just trying to live their lives and do their work on Zoom. And their cats are like, look at my butt. Yeah, yeah, I know he's trying to look into the screen and be on the screen. You should have my tail and my butt. Enjoy my butt. It's a very cat thing. It's a super cat thing. My sister, when she's trying to talk, like her cat's just over in the other room, just screaming. Yeah. And then sometimes so is her husky. Right, and then sometimes the husky joins, and he's just like. Wah. So I'm sure, like, and she got a new job recently, so I'm sure some of her new coworkers are like, "What the fuck is up with your kids?" Because <laughs> she'll be like. Franks, what do we talk about? Franks, you've had your food. You you ate. <laughs> Ashley does do the best animal noises. Enjoy that. It is true. <laughs> Knox wants to be on your shoulder. Oh, that's so cute. Shoulder kitties are the best kitties. Ooh, the kitties are great. I mean, 15 pounds is a lot. Hey, Indigo. Hey, Indigo. Thank you. We've, you know, I we realized when we were talking the other night that I think it's been the longest since we've been to a show in literally years. Because we've hit more than four months now. Yeah, this backdrop took me like two hours to put up because I've forgotten how. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Um, yeah, like we... Also, this feels really weird. It's really nice. Um, people who watch us regularly know that like usually I'm just sharing. I'm huddled over in the corner of Dean's um, desk and we elbow each other and fight over the space. Um, so it's nice to have this whole big space. Uh, but it's also weird because the... I feel a little bit like I'm in the booth, and I'm like, I shouldn't be sitting. Yeah. And I keep, like, finding myself looking around for somebody to, like, like meet their eye and, like, smile and try to engage to get them to come over. Like... The only other people in here are spiders. Don't do that. I know. I don't want them to engage. I really don't. Um, or those weird flying ants. Right. That the super... The, the stupid bug guy didn't want to, like, charge us to get rid of. Right. Um, yeah, but like, it's weird how just knowing it's back there puts me in the mindset. Conditioning. Pretend I'm handing off flyers. <sighs> yeah, like, I know so many people, like, we had so many plans for this year. Um, oh yeah, we had. We were going to do so much new stuff and so many different things and try out some and it's just wham, wham. here it went <laughs> she can sit I can sit yes sometimes um I don't though it she shows doesn't sit so, she doesn't sit well I don't I don't sit still well that's why I have shit to do here to keep my hands busy um yeah like It, that part's weird. I do keep feeling like I should stand up. I mean, the floor's pretty hard, so that would be <laughs> usual. Yeah. That'd be normal. You could totally stand up. You wouldn't be able to be, I don't think you'd be able to be seen if you stood up. Edgar wants to know how hard it would be to make the dark brown kind of silver gray. Let's find out. I, I feel like she's got some specific needs from this chicken. You uploaded your Star Trek No Contact picture? <laughs> yeah, that's... Well, and when you use the name straight out, yeah. That does make it a little bit harder. I, I know I'm going to butcher this. She's an Eric Kana? Eric Kana? Eric Kana. Okay. Yeah, it turns out I know very little about chicken. I know, I'm surprised. It's true. Mm -hmm. 
But back to the other thing. Yeah, my attention. Good thing I have coffee. What is attention? I don't know. Attention span is dead. Um, I know so many people that were like, "Oh, I'm gonna do this this year. Or the cons are gonna be this." You know, like, like it felt like 2020 was gonna be the year, right? And then this, <laughs> and it was a year. It's definitely a year. Uh, I don't think it's the year we were looking for, though. The poster has Picard and Data. Um, ooh, you've got a whole poster set up? Okay, yeah, I wanna see that. Wasabi colored earlobe, wait, chickens have earlobes? Man, the last six months have been a hell of a year. I feel like they've been like three years. Um, it's it's been a it's been quite the March was a hell of a year. And it's weird because there are things that I would change if I could go back in time to March. There are decisions I would make sooner and things I would do differently. But on the other hand, like. I really, really don't want to ever go back to March. I lived through it the first time, but I don't want to do it again. True facts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm learning so much about chickens. <laughs> Come for the art, stay for the chickens. I guess. <laughs> Ooh, so um, we should put up the correct picture this time. I love the coronavirus behind it. <laughs> Very nice. So what picture do you want to put up? Uh, the one you put up the wrong one last time. Let's see if I can fail this one. You didn't fail. You totally succeeded in putting it up. It just wasn't the right picture. Um, so we're going to send out postcards to... Dane made special postcards. Um, Here it is. Yay! So we're going to send out special postcards to all of our patron postcard people um, and our patrons that we mail stuff to, but also anyone that purchases anything from the website this weekend gets yeah. a it's con badge slash postcard. It's one of those. Yeah. It's always backwards. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like... It's not a good idea for me to be looking while I'm trying to do the thing. I always do it backwards every single time. It's true. My brain does not work that way. What? Okay. What happened? Well, that Corona came out really, really cool. Hi, brain wise. You didn't realize we were witches? What? I'm confused. The flying monkeys. Ah. <laughs> Jim has asked for this to show back up. Okay. This is from the earlier stream for anybody who wasn't here. And it's hard to see there's a little bitty stitch on the uh, stitch. Um yeah, that was a request earlier. Um yeah, so what else are you gonna draw? Oh, yeah. Has anybody had Oh I thought you were stuck. sorry. No. I was already pushed forward. I know you were. I was like, okay, move it along. Um, and then the other thing that Dane's double checked, so hopefully we have the right pictures of, we are working on enamel pins. Yay. Yay. And we were just working on them, but then this happens. So we're probably going to kickstart them. Um, and we're still in the beginning stages of like getting the final designs, but we thought y'all might want to look at them and see and I don't know, have feelings about them or something. Do you have those pictures? Dude, let me do one thing at a time. No. Right? I just talked it up and now you're like, no. <laughs> you should have thought about that before we're like, you should have asked me about it. You least. heard me talk it up. You could have been like, no, not now. Well, too late now. We're, we're good at what we do. Um, really. Actually, it's great at paying attention to what's happening. You're supposed to spend the whole time drawing. I didn't know this particular time was more important. I was working on a thing. You're always working on a thing. Literally, that's the point. <laughs> 
Is it going to mess up your thing again? Let's find out. Okay. We'll find out together. Yes. Yes, it will. Possibly. So this is fun. Every time he changes... There, oh, damn. I thought it was going to work for a second. Every time he changes the, the thing in his iPad, it decides that it doesn't want to work the way it did before. It's pretty great. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, but now we can't tell if they're shut seeing up. it. Don't tell me to shut up. That's mean. I'm fixing. That's real, real rude. So you can you understand? So anyway, uh, the black would be would be nickel metal. The that. Yes. Yes. Nickel metal. Yes. So anyway, yeah, these are going to be our new pin designs. Um, yeah, we're working on those. They're not done yet, but yeah, <laughs> very exciting. Thank you, Becky. And then you go. I was reading for yeah. Thank you to everyone. Eddie wants stickers. See, I think that we've been talking. Um, I'm interested in stickers. Yeah, we could probably possibly do that. We could, well, we could definitely do these stickers. Or a sticker sheet or something? Yeah. Okay. Let me talk about it. All right. What do you think, individual stickers or sticker sheets? I have. I'm talking to them. I see that. I hear it. Something. Something's happening. Glow in the dark stickers. Yeah. Ooh, those would be sweet. I think I think glow in the dark um, would be a great addition for the pens if we make more than the the necessary amount. Stretch goals. So. Stretch yeah. goals are the best goals. Extra goals. Stuff. I lost track where I was going with that. Yeah, I didn't know where you were going with that, so I was like, "What? What's happening?" All right, what's happening? 50s Delta on our 50s bathroom time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the 50s bathroom tile. Someday it will be gone. And we'll replace it with look-alike, but much higher quality tile. Especially the grouts. Bye, Becky. Thanks for coming in. Night, Becky. Um, reminder that we're going to talk to Becky on Friday. Friday night. 6 p.m. our time, 4 p.m. her time. Yes, that. Okay. Yeah, I'm talking to Becky. I remember it. <laughs> Creepy silence. So what am I drawing next? Oh, yeah. You better talk to us. It'll be really, really awkward. Yeah, for us to have been. We just have a screen. A screen? A screen. A screen, a screen. with your face on it, and then nothing coming out. Candlejack. Scream. Alright guys, what is danger I? Help me out. <laughs> Poor thing you had, I don't know, I guess I'm fine. I was gonna say cat. Draw a cat. Draw a cat. I drew a cat last time. No. How many cats do you want, woman? All of the cats. Like, there, are there ever enough cats? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell me the screen. <laughs> oh, the chat's disappeared. Did your chat? Screen. Oh, oh see? Did you break it? I might have. Bad. Um, I still think cat, uh, but anybody else can throw out something different, or you can add to the cat idea. There we go. I think the resizing of the iPad thing. Broke it, it again? Is booted it? booted it off the edge of the thing. That was fun. Robot cat. Okay, robot cat, we can do robot cat. Oh, I like robot cat. See? There's always something cool that can be added to cat. It's true. Because cat. The robot cat and lasers. <laughs> See? Yeah, I'm just gonna figure this out. Like earlier I kinda wanted to suggest oh look it's Harrison Ford's face. Hi Harrison um, Ford's face. Great. Um mm -hmm. cat with phaser. Somebody's a trekkie. A little bit. I don't know how we would have known that. From early in the chat. Helmsman cat. You just see everyone constantly being taken in the wrong place.
the cat thinks it's funny and it wants to go there. Um, yeah, there was something else. So we, we actually remember to talk about the buttons. Or the pins. Yeah, buttons. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Uh, did you need... <coughs> Boom! Excuse me. Um... Did you need, um, coffee? Yeah, I was going to get some, but then you told me to draw a cat. <laughs> do you want me to make it, or do you sure. want to go get it? You can make it, I'm drawing now. Are you okay with me making it? It's fine. Mm-hmm. Clear. I'm really close to the thing now, though. That's nice. Pretty close to? Oh, the coffee maker? Coffee pot! You want a cup or you want a thing? Cup's fine. Okay. Bruce, you read my mind. What? And some coffin, coffin, coffee delivery. Coffin delivery. I think it's a little weaker than I expected. Hopefully, it's not terrible. Coffin delivery. So other than hearing about all the shows that are still happening right now, which is insanity to me. There's shows still happening? Oh my god. Yes, there's cons still happening. That's shenanigans. It's ridiculous. Like, I can't, I can't even imagine. I'm oh, sorry, I'm going to be that person. I can't even. I just can't even, like, for real. I kind of can't. I mean, for this, <laughs> I kind of can't, guys. Like... I've had a few nightmares that involve cons happening right now. Now I'm already sniffling because, I don't know, something happened. Now I'm allergic to it, apparently. Um, the idea of a show. What, uh, when do we think that we're going to have shows again? I have no idea. I don't either. What do you guys think? Are we ever getting shows back? I think we're getting them back. It's can't possibly decide when. Which shows? Um, yeah, so there was a show last week in Huntsville, um, Alabama, which is insane. Their numbers are going crazy right now. Um, there was, there have been a couple of shows in Florida. Um, yeah, there's lots of like smaller shows and medium sized shows that are still just happening. Dance of the Dead. <laughs> Great. 
Yeah, like that's how I feel. I mean, it just... And a couple of people have, have gone to those things where they're like press, basically. And it just sounds off. Like it sounds horrifying. So... I just... I mean, what do you think, Indigo? Are you going to try, like, if, if shows and stuff are working, are you just going to take your plan that you had for this year and just make it next year? Is that a, is that a possibility? Are you talking to anybody specific? Or? I said Indigo. Oh, I didn't hear you say Indigo. Yeah. I was responding to an earlier comment on the just see I'm coming around again. Uh, right? I'm trying to do that thing that we do sometimes? Yeah. Not well. We're bad at it. I mean, that's kind of how we've been feeling, is that you, you've got to be vaccinated to even consider, like, I feel like it would not be a surprise if we learned that, like, if shows started saying, like, you have to prove you've been vaccinated to get through the door. Um, I think a lot of people, you know, anti-vaxxers would be upset about it, but I would feel safer if that was the case. <laughs> um, yeah, like, that's, and I know, like, here, where we are in Kansas, like, we've got multiple friends and people we know that are, that are being really safe and, um, listening to the science and all of that. And our governor is sure trying, poor lady. Um, but like every time the newspaper puts out like, hey guys, Sedgwick County, which is our county, um, the, the numbers are going up really bad. And oh, the numbers have like gone up like this huge percent in Kansas and more than 25% of those numbers is in our county. And you get people that are like, oh, this made up virus. I'm just like, really, you think? Like, you get a lot of people who really don't believe uh, anything smart, certainly. <sighs> well, damn it, Jim. Now we can't even drive and, like, quarantine and then see you guys. Not that, like, no offense. Not that we were planning on it and had the car packed and everything. <laughs> no, like... I mean, we've been on the list for New York for a while. Um, like, that was the thing Dane and I were talking about, because technically, like, technically New York Comic Con hasn't, hasn't canceled yet. Um, I absolutely think they're going to, but they haven't yet, technically. Um, and, and we were just like, haha, even if they had the show, like, we couldn't come because they won't let us in. Like, they, they don't want us because we're from a bad state. It's true, though. With a bad scene. <laughs> I mean, that's the stuff that's, that's driving me a little nuts. Like, and I think it's hard to, to, like, it's hard to blame some of them because you see leadership in areas like here in, in our county. Um, the governor, about a week or two ago, instituted a statewide mask order and a bunch of the local counties made a big deal of voting that they weren't going to enforce it. And like she made a, an executive order that the schools weren't going to start until after Labor Day and the statewide school board voted that they were going to start in person before that. So, like, even when you have a governor trying their very best to, like, save people's lives, some people are just bound and determined to not be saved, apparently, or their children, or other people's children. Yeah, I don't... I mean, I think... Aren't we seeing that... Um, best case scenario, it's going to be at the end of this year before we have a, vi a vaccine, and probably it'll be in the next year. Like, yeah, absolutely. Best case scenario will be end of this year. I mean, that's six months from now. 
another six months. What's another six months when time doesn't mean anything? Right. I mean, that's that's kind of where we're at. Like, finding the gumption to get up and create is... <laughs> It's a it's a struggle on some days. Like it really, really is. Um, and it's it's hard when you've got a bunch of people that are just pretending that it's not even a thing. Like they've just got their hands over their ears metaphorically, and they're just you know blah blah blah. I'm trying to remember, um, next year, C2E2 is in March. Because that's the thing, too. Like, even once we have a vaccine, like, best case scenario, it's going to take a while to get it out to people. And that's with an op that's with a... A functional government. <laughs> right. <laughs> If only people would actually bury their hand, head in the sand instead of just like pretending to, it would stop the spread a lot. Like I think that would be very helpful. <laughs> I think that's a good point. Like, I think we should we should make a poster for that. If you don't want a mask, if you don't want to wear a mask, bury your head in the sand. Go ahead, bury your head in the sand. It's even better than a mask. Put that shit down. We'll forget it. We have all the best ideas when we're not paying any attention. True. We're stealing that. Maybe. <laughs> I'm just seeing like mad-esque illustrations of just people just butts in the air. Hey, average agent cosplay. Yeah, I think it's going to be a super interesting year. Um, I don't know if I want another interesting year, honestly. <laughs> I don't think you're going to get a choice, sweetie. Like, whoever whoever was told may you live in interesting times in our, you know, generation, I feel bad for them, and I want to find out whoever told them that and kick them in the butt. I had another place to kick them. Interesting can definitely suck it. I'm with you. Um, like, I could use a whole lot of boring right now. Just a whole lot of boring. Um, yeah. No. <laughs> And okay, that's not nice. My parents used to tell me my stuff was interesting all the time. <laughs> now I feel bad. They were probably right. That probably was interesting. <laughs> all right. Apparently we've uh. We didn't get enough red in the first dream, so we're doing it all now. All of dread. Dread. Just so much existential dread. Um, yeah. Well, it just occurred to, like, we were talking earlier. Now. Night Indigo. Night Indigo. Yeah, definitely do. Let us know if you're going to do some, some streams. Yeah. Because Comic-Con, like, I just, I need some Comic-Con in my life. Yeah. You have a good night too. Who am I gonna bug for questions about vaccines? Probably, Probably Jess.
I think some pollen or something changed outside because I am all the sniffly right now. Which means I'm probably going to sneeze on you again. Yeah. I'm sure you're looking forward to it. Always. Mm hmm. <laughs> I can ask you, you'll make something good up. <laughs> I don't want it made up. No, it just it it occurred to us though, and you you were on there, I think. <laughs> that if I'm part of a study, I may not be able to get like know if I've got a good vaccine. Mm. Um, which is you know troublesome. Yeah, ours is the same way. Um, it's really, really strange to, to just be like, well, um, I'm free until next year, <laughs> at least. Um, like that's, we're trying to figure out like if there's a way we can put some virtual things on our, um, on our calendar. That's, that's part of why we're doing like we're, we've got plans for a Kickstarter in the next month or two. Um, and we're looking at some other stuff. Uh, by the way, let us know if there's something you want to see from us guys. Cause, yeah. Cause I'm going to run out of ideas eventually. And, and Dane's really good at, you know, <laughs> responding to other people's <laughs> harassment. Um, he loves it when I throw that out. Cause then he's like, Oh good. People are going to harass me. Yay. Um, but he is really good at dealing with not me nagging him. Um, and we're just interested in like what's going to keep people engaged and entertained and all of that. Cause sometimes I think it's just nice to know that like we're entertaining anyone, um, besides ourselves, but there is an element of that. Like I literally just stuck paper in front of Dane yesterday and just like, just draw some little notes. It's true. It's true <laughs> While we watched Hamilton, um, we watched Hamilton. Yay! That, that was, was fun. that was fun. Um, I can now join the conversation <laughs> that everybody else has known about for years. <laughs> But yeah, like it's nice to have an artist living in the house where I can just be like, draw some stuff for me. So just, just entertain me. <laughs> Jim's already got a list. He's like, <laughs> what? Did, what was our other Saturn that we did? Um, five. So what's the difference between Saturn five and Saturn one B? Are you asking me? Are you asking Jim? Whoever wants to answer me. Like, I just want the information. I'm not picky about who gives it to me. Saturn would be is shorter. I know that. He wrote stories just on call from people making suggestions. See, it's that kind of thing that makes the rest of us look bad. Isn't the Saturn 1B, is that the one that launched the Skylab? Earth orbital missions. Apparently. You're an Earth orbital mission. I'm just telling you what the man said. Rude. I don't know, I feel like some people um, I still couldn't compete with even when they are dead. Because their stuff's just that good. So, yeah. All right, so where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it come from? Where did it go? Where did it come from? No, I'm looking for the list so I can write it down. Somehow, stupid chat. Work. <laughs> I don't know. There was more here somewhere. I feel like you just ate part of it. Oh, there it is. Hold on.
We've had multiple people asking for our various falcons. We have. Have you decided which one you want to start with? Uh, I'll do the heavy. The heavy? What are historical planes that you think would be cool? Um, I really want a... Uh, Um, I really those. Don't be mean to me. Yeah, yes, I will. <laughs> I'm like, as soon as I, like, it was right there, and then as soon as I needed to say it, it was like, psh, gone. Um, god dang. The, the plane that we, the American plane in World War II that we used in a lot of our sea battles. Um. The 45? B-45? B-51? Probably. Um. Uh, but also, <laughs> why wouldn't the robot cat be colored by Cobra Commander? Like Cobra Commander. Actually, I was going for more of a fur ball from Tiny Toons Adventures. If anybody remembers that show. I love that show back in the day. Yeah, we should have a whiteboard, but we don't. I thought we did at one point, but it's gone now. I haven't seen it. Maybe I just made it up. I don't know. Maybe. Like Spruce Goose, that would be a good one. I'm very sad that we never made it over to see the Spruce Goose. Someday we'll get back to Seattle. It was in Oregon. Yeah, but we'll get back there, and we'll see. Like we're gonna get back to Oregon too, but someday we'll get back to that area. Someday. The Corsair, yes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hydrate. Hydrate. You even have anything left, or are you faking it? No, I guess so. Far as you know. <laughs> if not, that was a really good fake slurp. I'm at least as good as 50% of Hollywood actors that have a fake ghost. So I don't have a fake ghost. I don't have any ghost, but... Uh, I think you just pulled on yourself there, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, Bart. Ooh, black gray lemonade. You have all the best lemonades. It's true. Someday Dane's gonna have to, to make some lemonade so we can catch up with this <laughs> delicious lemonade stuff. Now it's like a lemonade arm race. Dane's made like Dane used to make lemonade. Yeah. Um I haven't in a while. I don't know. Back in when we lived in Arizona he made a lot of like random citrus drinks. Like we even had a juicer. Yeah, um, juice, yeah. I know, we still have it, but we bought a juicer back then. Because you could get a lot of citrus for free. Millions of citrus, citrus for free. <sighs> Those are the days. This music's very... Quiet and intense. Yeah. Like me. <clears throat> Why do you have 10 million street love things happening? I don't know. Not the boss of your stream labs. No, my phone just collects things because Dean downloads them and then suddenly I have like 20 new things on my phone. The joy of sharing. I don't know what the hell it is. Okay, let's do something. That's the problem with sharing an Apple ID is you get everything I download and I get everything you download. Thanks, Bruce. Oh, have a good night. Night, Bruce. Thanks for stopping in. That's a good idea. Get the frozen, the simple brand frozen lemonade. And frozen fruit. Make your own. Make it for me, Dave. Right. That'll be a lot easier than juicing my own damn lemons. Yes. Oh, 
I'll still try and find lemons to steal out here. Oh, yeah. That'd be much more difficult in Kansas. I mean, we didn't technically steal them in Arizona. It's just that they were a lot more readily available. Just be on the street. Like our pink grapefruit. And again, I feel like just about anything someone might want, you might be able to pull it out of the garage. <laughs> like, I might have the wrong the wrong impression, but I feel like that's the case. It's the impression that I get. You know that song? It is, that's why I said it. This is very... Wiry. It's very not great. Yeah. I'm not liking this at all. Well, I went to the... It is no bueno. My favorite thing about listening to this on this particular thing is that every time they pull the whistle it goes off, you kind of give that chuckle. I just love that noise. I can't <laughs> help it. I just love that noise. And I love the. All right. James got more. So. H E. L's. You have a full size and a queen craftmatic? Ooh, man. I want a craftmatic. Yeah. Adjust a little bit? Yes. You should have said that while we were buying beds. We found a good bed. I mean, it's fine. Yeah, but, you know, you could have had a craftmatic adjustable bed. The full isn't craftmatic? That's fine. Like, we have a queen now. We had a full for a long, long time. But this last time, Dan was like, no. All right, we'll look at it later. Ooh. I mean, that I don't know, maybe it should bother me, but it, ooh, I really like the colors on that. Yeah. Um, uh, Harrison Ford's face. I don't think that was Harrison Ford's face. I think I pulled it up. Because he's old. Right. I don't know if you know that. I guess. Thank you, Eddie That's awesome. I love it a lot. I shouldn't be dating this. I know they're ones, but the way when I wrote it, it just looked like hells, and I thought it was fun. <laughs> All right, what next? What do you think? Thanks, average Asian cosplay. I think that's one of my favorites. That's gonna, yeah, it's gonna have to become a postcard or something. Dun, dun, dun. What? Why am I? Spoilers. I may not spoil everything else tonight, apparently. From. I should design my own Pokemon. The cool pins to. I don't know. Also, white blood stuff. Can you make a Pokemon out of a white blood cell? I think I need to try. I don't know how a white blood cell works like specifically. Let's find out. Spotify is all about the choir and the organ music tonight. 
I think they're trying to tell me I need a religion. Or tell you specifically. Do I know? Do I know? Oh yeah, white blood's are the fuzzy ones. They do have Pokemon of everything else. So the the game streamer we were talking about earlier, Mini True Nerd, he does a whole multi-hour stream on where he goes through all of the Pokemon and he says there's too many Pokemon and he pairs down the numbers of Pokemon. And he has reasons for all of it. And that's fun. Like he has rule sets based on which ones are allowed to be and all of it like I recommend the Nature Nerd Gel. See, that's what he said. Yeah, those are, like, there's a whole bunch where he's just like, these three are all the same thing and this one's the best. So we're keeping that one and these other two go. Yep. Well, like all of the fish ones, there's so many fish ones that are basically the same thing over and over and over. And I thought I at least had seen all of them, but no, they just released a new one recently. At least I got it for the first time recently. Uh-oh. Posture uh -oh. check. Thank you, Barb. Can you try to pretend I have good posture and look at Pokemon online? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Magikarp is trash, but... It was my first but fish. But is good. Magikarp was my first fish, so I have some love for Magikarp. I'll admit it. I've only ever played Pokemon Go and Pokemon Snap, so I'm not. I don't really have feelings about Pokemon's. Like no. which ones are good and which ones are bad. Except. Just gotta catch them all. Or just collect your nuts. This is nice. I feel like Gyarados should be Dragon type. I was super mad when I learned that it wasn't. Well, my Gyar Gyarados is. What? Mine isn't. Pokemon Snap was so good. It was way better than it needed to be for what it was. That's like the reason we bought the. Um, in 64, isn't it? It is. Spoiler man, um, the N64. I don't think that's a spoiler. Not really a spoiler. I don't know. I see, it just looks angry. <laughs> He's a white blood cell. Okay. They're all about attacking things. They are all about attacking things. Fair enough. <laughs> Oh, see, that's cute. The Pikachu 64, the cheeks light up. That's adorable. That's pretty cute. A lot of the stuffed animals are super adorable. Like, I actually feel like Nintendo does a really, really good job of, and Pokemon does a really good job of doing merchandise for their stuff. So much of their stuff is super cute. A lot of the plush are very, very cute. Wait, is, that a, is it a plush? Pikachu, or is it like the Nintendo 64 that's Pikachu themed? She said the cheeks light up. Console doesn't have cheeks. Doesn't it though? No. It's an actual 64. Now you know. Apparently that 64 has cheeks. Weird. Now I'm freaked out.
Is it really warm in here? It's a little warm. Dying. Probably I shouldn't crack off. I mean... Yeah. You were wrong, it just has a pico on the side. Hot and tired. You still got an hour to go. I know, I don't know what's happening. Just worn out. Too much fun stuff. Too much fun stuff. See, I'm feeling the comp thing already. Yeah. Weird. It has been nice though. <laughs> I think that the I think that the Website that they put together, however janky it might be, I feel like it's working. Yeah. We're seeing some traffic, which has been really nice. It has been really nice. We appreciate everybody visiting. Um, it looks a little bit like a white ghastly. <laughs> You were thinking of the anime version of White Blood Cell, but this looks interesting. <laughs> oh, we're not like, uh, this looks terrifying right now with the sketchiness going on. <laughs> like, it's very terrifying right now, Dane. Um, we aren't as up on anime as other things. So if we can misunderstand an anime reference, probably better tell us. You almost guarantee that we're gonna misunderstand an enemy reference. Not on purpose. No. We just don't have the the background that we could. I know a lot more now than I used to. Uh, I had like zero, like I vaguely understood that anime was a thing. Um, I know it does look kind of like a copping. Yeah, I'm going to try and fix that. But there's, you know, only so much you can do with a fuzzy orb. And then we did a bunch of anime shows back when we first started. And there were so many just just cute and kind kids that were just so willing to spend hours telling me about the anime they loved. Um, I learned an awful, awful lot in a short amount of time. <laughs> Like, up to and including, I had kids bring by, like, their favorite volume of their favorite manga. Um, so that I could read and flip through the thing while I was at the show. Like, yeah, it was... God. 12 and 13 years ago. <laughs> so many years ago. But those kids were so excited, and they so badly wanted to share this thing they loved. And it was hard not to get excited with them. Because when somebody's that enthusiastic about a thing, it's just... That's the best. Man, when we first started going to San Diego Comic Con, the Naruto stuff was everywhere. Our first year we attended, or maybe the second year, I would say like one out of every ten people had the, the and bandana. Man, yeah. Like they might have been handing them out. Um, that might have been a thing, but yeah, there were there was a lot of it. Uh-oh, Dane. Somebody got modded. Oh, no, it's not modification. Wow. What did you do this time? Upskirt, apparently. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's like, guess who? 
<laughs> well, and I think too, like. Oh, night, Brian. Oh, I didn't see you leave. So hopefully we caught you before you left. What? Brain wise left. My. Oh no. My chat is like skipping around weirdly. Darn thing. You started going to Cosm 2012? Um, I think Dana and I were looking, we, our first year at San Diego Comic Con was 2010. Like yep. attend, or er, uh, vending. Yeah. So we attended in like 2008 and 2009, I think? I think it was 2007, 2008. 2007, 2008? Like, Because the first year we got, it was 2007 because it was right before the Phoenix Comic Con 2008, which was in September 2007. We, the, uh, the first year we attended San Diego Comic-Con was the, the last year that they sold tickets at the door. Yep. We literally walked up and bought them there. No, we didn't. We did. No, we didn't. We, did. we bought ahead of time in the mail, oh, right. but people, they ran out of tickets on Saturday and people were really upset because for years and years they've been able to walk up and just buy it. And so it was a big, huge deal. But... Yep. Both years that we bought tickets for San Diego Comic Con as attendees, we just downloaded the application and filled it out and mailed it in with a check. You had multiple upskirts? What are you doing, Etta Kay? <laughs> Jim, that seems great. I mean, we had a lot of people doing that at cons. I was very, very confused. I honestly, like, I didn't even know cons existed until Dean told me about them. And we went to our first, like, small con in Arizona, like, maybe the year after we got married. Two years after, something like that. It was right when we moved there. Mm -hmm. bunch of pilot nerds looking at him like he was nuts. I'm sure they weren't the only ones. <laughs> it's... Yeah... Well, it was fun because we went to comic conventions first, and then we went to some anime conventions, and they were just a whole other thing. So, like, you kind of got used to one, and then you had to learn a whole new set of everything. I mean, honestly, I think... If we don't do, if, which I don't think we will, um, if we don't do any more shows until next year, which again, I think is a pretty good bet, that will be the longest it's been since we've been or vended to a show in probably 12 or 13 years. Yeah. So it's already been, just the distance between now and C2E2, um, it's already been longer than we've been without a show. I would say probably three or four years. Because we used to get a full solid, like, four months of Dark Time, but not yeah. really. We back in the day before we started doing um, New York. Basically, like, the end of October was the last of our shoe season.
He wouldn't answer you? Probably because he was embarrassed. Who was embarrassed? Nerdo on the college campus. Kid wearing the headband and running around doing the Naruto run. Huh. I was amazed to see so many Naruto kids at the show we did here last November. So many Naruto kids here. It was it was like flashing back to other to shows we went to years ago. It's the people that are doing weird shit and then won't tell you why that are the really strange. It's like the the cosplayers that won't break their their character, even when they're outside of the convention center, and like the muggles walk by and are like, "What the hell is happening?" and they won't break character. It's like, I mean, you know, maybe break long enough to be like, "Oh, it's a comic con." <laughs> before, before you like drunk pirate all over them or whatever your character is. Wizard World Fan Fest in 2015. Man, y'all hit the ground running. You've done a crap ton since then. Twenty. It was before 2010. I think all the nerds are really interesting. Um, I think it's just that, like, every group has their behavior patterns, and the, the anime kids have a whole different set, and different language, too, for a lot of it. Oh my god. See, like, that's the thing. Like, there's, there's like, oh, I'm more than just a person in a costume. Like, I'm an actor or whatever. And then there's, like, yeah, that, like, you're in a costume contest and we just freaking want to know how you made. Like, <laughs> help us help you, person. <laughs> that stuff, I don't know. And also, like, when the normals are walking by and you're outside of the convention center, like, I mean, if you're playing, like, a Disney princess, sure, be, stay in character. Like, the little kids are going to love that shit. Let them take pictures, be the Disney princess. But if you're some kind of weird-looking character that the muggles have never seen before, great character. Don't make them call the police on you. Like... <laughs> Well, we appreciate you bringing your kid to Go City so we get to see you all. Right. Oh, I should just do. Is that KamaraCon? Yeah. I was like, I don't. What? Man, we used to do KamaraCon. God, we did KamaraCon for like six years. Yeah, it's where they met us. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Like, it was a long time. We did it for years. <sighs> You know, people don't believe us when we're like, hey, we've done a show um, that where the vendor hall was in the parking garage every year, and it was in the middle of summer, and it wasn't air-conditioned. People don't believe us. Sure they don't. Oh, that's so cool. I adore seeing video, like, Emerald City, Repop put out an Emerald City video, um, 
God, was it this year or last year? I think it was this year. And it was just kind of a like, yay, we love the show, we love the people kind of thing. But we knew multiple people in the video. Like they were walking through the con floor and we're like, oh, we know those people and we know those people and we know those artists. Um, and then they, again, they showed cosplayers and stuff. And it's really, really fun when you're like, oh, I know those people. It's true. It's one of my favorite things. Yeah, there was a show in uh, Tulsa, Tulsa, Tokyo and Tulsa, they did that. They put their uh, artist alley in an abandoned Hobby Lobby, I think. Yeah, apparently parts of the place, um, they didn't they didn't pay to get it clean ahead of time. So there was like a poor volunteer that was actually a volunteer, like trying to like kind of sweep it. <gasps> And some people that showed up early that were in the area, like, went home and got, like, brooms and shit to help them clean up. Because Did some they of find them, a dead raccoon? They found something dead. I think it was a rat, but I don't know. Um, parts of the area, like, had regular flooring, but then some parts of the area, the flooring was so torn up that it was an actual trip hazard. And so there were, like, somebody was complaining. Um, one of the artists had mobility issues... And she was like, it's literally dangerous for me to get in and out of my booth area because the flooring is so jagged and torn up. Like, I, I am legit risking my my health getting in and out. So, yeah. Um, on the other hand, I think they had some issues because they had last minute, like, space cancellation or something. And so it was suddenly like, where do we put this whole thing? Yeah, I don't know. I'm so glad that that wasn't, like, people were waiting, like, an hour to get a bus to go there because it was far enough away, like, you probably couldn't walk. Um, the forums were really interesting that year, during yeah, that show, that weekend. The forums were a lot of <laughs> Oh, man. One, well, as often happens, um, I feel like the, the final consensus seemed to be that, like, a bunch of bad shit happened at once that was not necessarily the fault of the people putting on the show. And then maybe they didn't make the best decisions all the way through, but they were trying. Um, but then, like, some people that had legit complaints, like the chick who was like, I actually have mobility issues, and you can't, like, there's a step to get up to where my space is, and the flooring is torn up, and, like... Those are all legit, um, but then, like, people got offended. Like, friends of the people who ran the show got offended and came on and started yelling at people. It was a mess. And I was with the chick that was like, yeah, I was supposed to be there. And as soon as I got the email that was like, hey, so we're putting you in this other space. And I went and Google mapped it and saw how far it was from the rest of the convention. I sent them a thing like, hey, thanks so much, but no thanks. And I canceled my, my hotel room. And I was like, I think that would be my answer. Like, just don't even try. Just stay away. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I, I feel like... Like, I feel like... The, the, that they were trying to to make that the worst possible decisions all the time. Right. Like I don't I don't feel like anyone I don't feel like that that like when when calm heads actually started explaining things, I don't feel like they were you know, on purpose putting people in danger or whatever. I think it just turned out that that a lot of things went wrong. And the make do maybe wasn't as good as it could have been. Yeah. And it's too bad because now, like, if they had all that stuff fit, kind of figured out better for this year, um, and then, you know, they didn't get to, to prove that this year. So for another year. The only thing anybody's going to know about that show is that. The stuff that happened a year before, which is, you know, that's got to be really difficult. Dead raccoons. From from a con runner's perspective. Because no matter how much you learn from it, like it's a whole other year before you can prove that you you were listening and you figured it out. Huh. 
<laughs> that would have been funny. That would have been amazing. See, that's one of that's one of my favorite things about WonderCon. Um, the convention center where they hold WonderCon has this really big multi-tiered concrete fountain out in front of it. And um, past the fountain is a long drive that they fill up with food trucks. So it's a real, it's a place, and because it's Southern California and it's nice weather because it's early spring, um, it's a place where a lot of people congregate and hang out and eat their food or whatever. But the cosplayers go out there and you see so many great, like, groups of cosplayers that get in front of that fountain. And you see people meet other cosplayers that they should be grouped with. Like, it's just, it's... It's great. Right. I would love to spend more time out there. I never can because I'm always working. But, you know, sometimes we walk back and forth. I mean, that's one of the struggles. Um, and it's too bad, really, where the convention center is located is kind of not the... I mean, it's not like a terrible part of town necessarily. It's just not the best part of town for people that are going to be walking around. And, well, there's not a lot. There. Yeah, and enjoying Portland. Like, yeah. that's that's what I mean. Like, it's not like, when I say it's a bad, not the best part of town, I don't mean like you're going to get mugged. I just mean, like, there are other parts of Portland that would be better for just walking around and enjoying the area. It's not the worst, though. I feel like Kansas City is a little worse Yeah. in that case. Like, Literally, the only things that are close to the Kansas City Convention Center is a Denny's, um, a kind of crappy little Mexican joint, and another convention center. The parking's great, though. Like, parking's it's great. under 10 bucks to park all day, so. <laughs> I mean, yeah, McCormick Place is that way, too, you're right. But at least McCormick, like, within a mile, like, you can walk a mile to get to Chinatown. And you have all the options, then. Or a five-minute Uber ride. Right. Like, you're right, though. McCormick's very much... Like, I feel like that's the case. Like, there's this really weird mix. Like, you have places like San Diego, where the convention center's right next to a whole bunch of great options. Um, Seattle, there's some deep... You know, there's some pretty decent stuff not far from it. Um, Portland, eh, not so much. Like, there is some, but you really gotta walk a bit. Um, Kansas City, there's nothing. McCormick, there's not a whole lot. I mean, McCormick at least is connected to that hotel, and they've got a couple of decent restaurant options. I mean, Kansas City's getting better. Is it? Yeah, because their downtown is starting to, it's been gentrified, or revitalized, however you want to term it. Um, so you've got the Power and Light District not too far away from there, where there's a bunch of restaurants and fancy grocery stores. And, huh. Um, How far a walk is it? No, about 10 minutes, 20 minutes. That's not so bad. Yeah. All right. Next sketch, Lucario. From Pokemon. Thank you for telling him for Pokemon. <laughs> it gives him a head start on the what? <laughs> Rosemont's a small... See, I've never been to Rosemont. I've never seen that one, so... That'd be nice. Well, until we started staying at in Chinatown, too, like, the hotel issue with the convention center was kind of a thing. Yeah, because we always stayed up, it was like five miles away, from, well, before we started staying in the Congress Plaza, which is right across the street from the park with nothing else around it. Um, we were staying up at the, I guess you call it the Miracle Mile? I don't know. It's a ways up there. It's where all the hotels are. There's, like, those street where all the hotels are on. But yeah, like it's... I remember the first year I did that, I walked around the hotel area to get my bearings and I found a Steak and Shake? Or Shake? Steak and Shake? Or uh, what's it called? The place with the burgers. Shake Shack. And that's about it.
That's because we fly into the wrong airport. <laughs> what is Southwest fly, flies into one of the airports. It's where they fly. <laughs> and none of the other airlines will give me free bags, so. True story. We actually, several years ago, God, um, out of Portland, we actually paid more for extra baggage to San Diego Comic Con than we did for our plane tickets. Yeah. Because we managed to get some pretty good prices on the tickets, but baggage is what it is. The trash airport. I don't mind Midway. It's got an airplane in it. It's nice. Like they're not content to just have airplanes outside and around it. <laughs> they got an airplane dead center. In the middle. The midway, if Et you would. Etiquette, you'd think that. Um, it actually costs a lot. And some hotels charge you to receive those. Um, and they won't always tell you what they're going to charge you ahead of time. And sometimes they don't pay any attention or they don't want to deal with it. And so they literally just send it back. Yeah. We, we've had that happen twice now. Um, like we would call and we'd be like, hey, we're going to go package. It'd be, it's going to be to y'all on such and such day. We're going to ship it. Because we do actually ship um, a number of things sometimes, like, depending on how much stuff and all that um, priority with the if it fits it ships boxes because those are a pretty great deal um, when you're shipping refrigerator magnets and because it's all about weight it turns out um, and yeah like it, when we did the show in LA the worst show um, the worst they, the, the hotel, we called ahead of time, they said it was fine, like we thought we had everything figured out, and they shipped the box back. They refused it. Like not only was the show the worst. <laughs> like it turned out we didn't need any of the stuff in the box, but for right. a while we thought it was gone forever. <laughs> and then finally somebody in Portland from the hotel, or from the post office in Portland was able to tell us like, no, it was refused. I'm not gonna... I'm so mad. Um, yeah, but they refused like three boxes of stuff. Southwest is adding a Denver route to Wichita. That means I have to fly through Denver. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't mean we would have to fly from. St. Louis to Denver. I mean, Vegas to Denver. Fair, fair. Or we could use Denver to jump on other from one to other places rather than having to go from like here to Vegas to. I don't know. The St. Louis airport's Portland. cute. Or Seattle. It's cute. Or, yeah. It's cute, Dave. I don't think it's cute. I don't think it's cute. <laughs> I don't think it's cute. It's totally cute. We, I do like that they have like the, the, the shape machine things, little concrete machines. We can get little ice creams, get little vending machines. You've seen these things. You can get like the little cups of. I know what you mean. Even though you're doing that weird thing that doesn't make any sense with what you're saying, but. Cup. Okay, I, I get what you're, but I don't know. They have a machine. How much does that cost you? I don't know, it's like five bucks. I didn't buy it when I said it's there. Oh, why do you even care? I like that they're there. there. I like the option. <laughs> what I like that I... they don't have to stand in line at the Baskin Robbins or whatever. So, Jim, this is basically a proof of concept um, out of newspapers. So, I was making a basket. Um, this is basically if you ever did candy wrapper chains, 
Yes, I'm doing it out of newspapers. These are out of ads. Um, but I was doing it out of um, copy, copy bags. Copy bags that I'd saved and cleaned and cut up, and because I thought it looked really cool, and they're sturdier than newspaper. She's right though; it does look really cool. Um, and I was trying to get the base, and I didn't. I wasn't figuring it out. It wasn't working. So rather than keep messing with that, I started over, and I kind of figured it out. Base. So with newspaper, so I'm basically building the thing I want to build with newspaper. Um, yeah. Just puts in, basically. <laughs> I took a newspaper and cut it up into a bunch of these 2x5 strips. The first thing I figured out was 2x4 strips, which is what one website recommended was wrong. Um, but yeah, so I'm just working on making strips, which will eventually will be a basket. It gives me something to do, like we watched Hamilton the other night, and that just gave me, it gives me something to do while I'm sitting there. Man. We were probably at that Kamurakan. Um, I liked Kamurakan for so many years. Like, it was such a sweet show. Um, I did not like <laughs> being in the parking garage. That was pretty much the worst. Was it the first year we did it? And the second. Yep. It was pretty great. And by the, pretty great, I mean it really wasn't. Um, yeah. The hotel was super, super rude to the show and a lot of the attendees. Um, yeah. It got a little goofy later. Oh yeah, the red line thing where it was split up amongst the different hotels and they weren't next to each other and people had to walk and half the time they'd forget to tell anyone where the, the artist alley was. That was that was great. That was the last time we did that show. No, what, we did the artist alley for years. But then here's the thing. Um, there was drama. Ah, it's going to amaze anyone that's ever done anything with a, with a small con. Um, there was drama with the people running it, and for a long time, like, our friend ran the artist alley, so, like, we wouldn't necessarily know what was going on with the rest of the show, but, like... Yeah, she kept us pretty well insulated. Right. But, like, she'd tell us where to be and when and what the rules were, and then we just did the thing, right? Um, but for whatever reason, she upset someone, and so they kicked her out, and they brought somebody else in, but then they undercut the... It was a big, huge thing. Um, and I guess they knew we were friends with her, so like we ended up not being in the artist alley. Um, and then the last year, we were like, okay, well we'll be, could we be in the vendor hall? And then Dane couldn't get anyone to respond in, so we were like, I guess we're not doing Quarricon anymore, that's a shame. Um, and then we got a text from a friend who was setting up, and they're like, yeah, they've got your name on a list and they're mad at you for not showing up. But you guys, he, he, he didn't know that we hadn't been contacted. contacted, so he's like, dude, they're super mad at you. Where are you? And we're like... I'm like, why the fuck would they be mad at us? Like, Dave's been trying to contact, literally, like, he went through literally and cut and paste his email to every single email contact on the pay web page. Like, because we were just like, tell us or not, because we could have signed up for a different show that weekend. Man, I could have been to PAX that weekend. Yeah, like, we were going to go to PAX, but then, like, by the time we were like, I guess we're not doing it, we, it was too late to get PAX tickets. Um, yeah. So, anyway, we went, um, and that year they'd split up the, the vendor hall in two different places, but they forgot to make sign enough signage, so only one of the vendor halls had any signs. Guess which one we were in. So all of the attendees were mad because as far as they were, they were like, why did they have the size of the vendor hall? Like, we liked having the vendor hall the size it was. <laughs> it was so dumb. Yeah. But now they're at the convention center, so that's, that's a good thing. Like, I feel like that's, I mean, I don't know. I haven't done it there, but I feel like that's probably better for everyone. It's all one location. 
I mean, it can't be worse, right? At least the, in Portland, the convention center is really easy to get to. Like, the kids can get on the, um, the trolley and come right in, and there's a stop, like, right there. So that's nice. Like, Becky and James live really, really close to um, the metro, so they can ride the metro, like, straight over in the mornings. And not worry about bringing their car and parking and dealing with all that. Oh my god, bleach is ending? I know bleach is still going. <laughs> I thought bleach was never gonna end. I read some bleach manga like. I don't know, years and years and years and years and years ago. And I felt like I read a lot of it, but I think I really read like a fraction of it. And at some point, there were a whole bunch, I stopped asking cosplayers because at some point, I would think that somebody was a bleach cosplayer, and then they weren't, they were from something else, and then I would always, it, people were always offended at me, so I was just like, I'm going to stop asking. I mean, they should, bleach had a lot of, like, hardcore long-term fans. I talked to a mom in, uh, on the East Coast, and she was so proud. Oh my gosh, we were next to her daughter at a show. Um, her daughter was doing her very first Artist Alley table. Um, but they'd gone to a really big local anime show on the East Coast for years. And this lady was telling me she loved it because she would get, she and like another mom would get a couple of hotel rooms like next to each other in the hotel they would buy tickets for their daughters and a couple of the daughter's friends would come out um and the two of them would basically just sit in the hotel bar and just hang out and drink <laughs> and have like and you know talk and gossip and whatever for like the weekend while the the kids did whatever they did and it was all in the hotel, and she just thought it was the best. <laughs> I was like, my parents never did anything like that. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, like... I, I caused some tr like, I learned how to ask questions about cosplay a little better. <laughs> um, yeah, like, there were certain kids, though, like, it was just like, oh, I, I can't ask you anything. Like, here I am excited, because I just think you did a really great job, but now you're mad at me because I don't know who it is. Like, I don't need to know who your character is to think that the costume is really, really well put together. Yeah, after a while it gets hard to not sound like a, um, a person at Halloween. But, oh, what are you? <laughs> like, I don't know. What a cute goblin. <laughs> They're like, I'm not a goblin. Sorry. I don't know. I've had some really, really good conversations with kids that, um, like, I still remember one of the first anime shows. I was helping somebody else at their table. I was passing out flyers or something. And this kid came over, and, and they were a kid. They were, like, 12 or 13. Like, a kid. And I asked about the their costume. Um, because again, it looked like it was handmade, but it looked like they spent some time on it, if that makes sense. Like, and 
we talked for like an hour because this kid was so excited and saved their money and they bought a sewing machine used somewhere and taught themselves to sew so they could and I was just this is the cutest thing yeah it was the best like those are the moments that are the best those are the moments of our lives. I miss those moments. Someday we're going to get them again. <laughs> oh, that would be great. <laughs> Another app idea. In any case, is you take a picture and it searches a database to tell you which character it is. Every artist over 30 going to a show downloads that app immediately. Well, and I was so impressed with this kid in particular because my mom and grandma both sew, like, really, really well. Um, like, my grandma used to earn, my, my grandma used to earn extra money um, literally making monk's robes uh, for a, they're not convents, they're the other things, um, for a, a local monastery. monastery, that's the word. Thank you. Um, like she sews really, really well. And my mom made my wedding dress. Like they're, they're good. And the bridesmaids dresses. And the bridesmaids dresses, yes. Um, so, and my mom tried to teach me. Um, yeah, that didn't go so well. So like I got some basic information. Um, you know, I can repair a loose seam or a button or something, but I'm not, I'm not sewing a dress or anything that you want to wear. Um, and so, like, I had just enough knowledge, working knowledge, to be, like, really, really impressed because, you know, this kid had gone to the trouble to learn how to use the machine and how, like, what kind of seam and what the different kinds of seams were, like, all of that stuff. Like, it was really impressive. <laughs> dibs on royalties. If someone programs that, man, that would be great. See, yeah, I've had really bad luck with machines. Um, and my mom's super old school. She has a couple of old singers. And she she'll just tell you that, like, it's not you, it's that you're using a shitty machine. <laughs> Which may or may not be true, but it's not helpful. <laughs> when that's what you have access to, but. I mean, yeah, I'm not good at any of that. Again, my mom's great at all of it, but not my forte. Like, I don't know, I wish I'd known about cosplay and stuff like that when I was a kid. Um, in high school or college, because probably my, I would have gotten into like making the accessories and stuff. My mom would have loved sewing a lot of that stuff. Um, she made like, God, when I was super young, I had like two of my best friends and I all did the, we were the Three Musketeers from the movie. And my mom watched the movie and then drew out the pattern for the cloak outfit things and made those. The tunics. The tunics, yes. 
Um, costumes too but you know like there's only a couple of uses you could get out of them like my mom made me like I said the three musketeers um, she made me a flapper dress a renaissance dress you had a couple of renaissance dresses I had a couple of renaissance dresses yeah with all the layers from different eras. Yeah, well, you lived in Chicago, so yeah, yours had to be fitted over snowsuits. <laughs> I mean, that was a thing, like, it, it depended a lot in Missouri. Um, like, you might get lucky and just need the costume, or you might, like, the kid, like, flashed you the costume when you opened the door. <laughs> Underneath the big winter coat. That's really cool. Eddie Case Kid did a wind up doll. And with a click, click, click coming on the back. Oh, nice. Yeah. I bet your mom was excited that when you started learning how to sew. Um, I feel like that's really, like I do, I look back and I'm kind of mad at myself for not trying harder at it. Um, I just didn't want to, weirdly, I didn't want to sit still that long. Um, but I feel like it's such a useful skill, uh, and it's not a skill that we emphasize. But man, even just being able to like repair clothes are such a thing. Like you told me to make a mask. I did. Oh my gosh, we made our first couple of cloth masks when the thing first started, and you couldn't get a hold of any. Um, and Dane did the sewing on a bunch of them. I pinned them all up and then he'd sew them. They weren't pretty, but they worked. It wasn't just your sewing, it was also my pinning. Yeah, getting a box or two from the hospital would be useful. Um, well, and now, like, okay, so you can buy boxes of masks, but then the question becomes, are they even what they say they are? You know what I mean? Like, like if you're not getting them through a medical supply company, is there any way of knowing that they are what they say they are? I like the colors in that one, too. You are all about the blue tonight. Yeah. Look at that. Look what time it is. Look at the time. Yay. It is midnight. We did it. Woohoo! Thank you all for sticking with us until midnight. We will see you. We'll see you Friday evening. Yes. Six o'clock. Our time. Right. And Dane will put up a schedule at right. some point. If you forget to write him. <laughs> AKA Daddy. Right. Are we turning into pumpkins? Night. I don't know. I go play video games. Night.
I'm gonna get some work done. Look at you, you're just like, why? <laughs> we will talk to y'all later. Thank you. Hey, I'm ready to turn into a long game. Bye, everybody. Bye. Of course, we're not gonna do this anymore. Yeah, I know, it's the awkward, like. Well, this thing is, uh, it's attached by the uh, Bluetooth, sort of. Because it doesn't have a cord.